Alright, nice to win today. Um, you know, I thought our guys played very hard, uh, like they typically do. Uh, we made some plays at the end. Um, you know, I thought defensively we played well all day. Um, got some uh, good output from the special teams on some returns and, and good kicks. And then uh, offensively, I felt like, um, you know, we, we played much better in the second half. We had way too many penalties. Offensively, we had to overcome first and 20, probably three times. Um, defensively, we had uh, one, one, one or two pass interferences, I think, and so you know, we need to clean that up. And uh, but it's nice, nice to get a win, and um, you know, I'm glad that uh, we're able to get one today. Like I told the team, you know, it takes a lot of courage to fight through uh, adversity when everybody's shooting arrows at you. And they came here to work, and they fought like crazy all week, like they always have, and uh, finally paid off. Question. Mike, you mentioned everybody shooting arrows. Does it feel especially gratifying for you that the defense came out and played as well as they did with, you know, questions about them? Well, we had a lot of players missing today. Um, you know, um, Peterson, Barr, Harrison Smith, Michael Pierce, Hunter. You know, but these guys battled today. I, I was proud of the way the corners played. They did a nice job, I thought. And, um, you know, we we did some good job, a good job, uh, for the most part in the running game, too, I think. Mike, why do you think Cousins was able to get the deep ball going today versus before? You know, I think he had some shots early in the game um, that he that he didn't take. Um, but I think he settled down, and in the second half, he was able to, you know, we got some single coverage, and, uh, you know, they were playing a lot of a lot of double, basically double coverage on Phelan and, and uh, Jefferson on third downs, and then we finally got it some place where we could get some single coverage up with them. Mike, what can a victory like this do for your team, knowing that it was close, knowing that they had to overcome things that shot them in the foot before and kind of get redemption? Yeah, well, when I got in the fourth quarter, right, I, I knew we'd been there before a few times. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to figure out a way how we're going to win the game. And, uh, you know, I told Clint, um, hey, be aggressive here, try to go score. And, um, you know, we, uh, unfortunately, we got a first and 20 on that, on that uh, drive. And then, uh, you know, we fourth and two, and there's no way that we're not going to try to win the game right there. How do you feel about Justin Jefferson showing? I know Clint Kubiak said during the week. Say what? How do you feel about Justin Jefferson showing? I know Clint uh, Kubiak said during the week that you guys were going to try to go more to Justin. And yeah, he shouldn't be telling that to the media. <laughs> but I did talk to Justin this week, and I told him we are going to get him the ball. I said, you got to do something for me, and that's come out here and practice real hard and, and do the things you're supposed to do and study and be precise in your routes, and we're going to get you the ball. How did that added aggressiveness from the play-calling perspective play into the four-minute mode that you guys were in at the end of the game? Um, well, it was it was to the point where it really wasn't four-minute. I didn't care about four-minute. I wanted to I wanted to end the ball with, with, with the ball in our hands. And so that was really what we were trying to do. It was try, trying to go score if we needed to. And then, you know, clock got down and um, they used their timeouts and we were able to, um, you know, win the game. Will you touch on that confidence you have? Excuse in, me? Will you touch on that confidence you have in Jefferson to kind of uh, tell him a week in advance, hey, get ready because we're going to come to you on Sunday. And then his ability to kind of show up and, and play as you expected. Well, he always shows up. I mean, you know, he didn't get many balls last week. I know that he was very frustrated, um, you know, and so, you know, I meet with Cousins every week and I, you know, I kind of tell him what, what we need to try to do. But, you know, Thielen made a great catch on, it was like third and 18 or third and 20 or something. He made, makes 18 yards, you know, and so we got two guys that are, that are really, really tough competitors and uh, we need to make sure, and three guys really with, with Cook. So we need to make sure that we are continually get, getting these guys in the ball. Kirk, uh, Kirk uh, no interceptions again for Kirk. Uh, you play so many close games. To have a quarterback that really doesn't turn it over very much at all, how, how key is that? Yeah, it's big. Um, you know, I, I, I do think that, you know, sometimes he needs to be aggressive with the football. And, um, you know, I thought he was today, especially in the second half. So, um, you know, he's, he's got to trust everybody. and. You know, if he has to hum a couple in there and, and they get tipped or something, so be it. You know, that's why we're the team. Mike, was part of your meeting with him to convince him that you know, to, to get Cousins, you're talking about? Yeah, to give no. this guy the chance to make a play? You know? No, I, 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 
I mean, we talk about a lot of different things. We, we watch some of the third downs together, and we talk a little bit about football. And, um, you know, usually I'll – he'll ask me questions about defense, and, you know, I'll, I'll talk to him about, uh, you know, things I see on the tape from the other team. And then sometimes we just talk about football and, you know, kind of where we're at and what we need to do and what we need to, you know. Um, so it's nothing like – I mean, I'll throw some hints in there, and, you know, he'll hit – to me a little bit too. Yeah, even though it seemed, like was, it seemed like he was, it seemed like he was just, you know, finally after a couple games with Jefferson's willing to just take a, take a more chance. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, I think sometimes, you know, I, t I talked to him during the game, you know, one time he came off and, you know, I said, uh, you know, what did you see on that play? And, and I said, you know, I think Adam had that guy beat. And he said, yeah, I, I, I didn't see him quick enough. And so, you know, I think just the reinforcement of, you know, some of those kind of things. But then, you know, if second and 18, whatever it is, you know, we've got we to get the ball down the field. We can't throw five-yard throws. So, you know, some of those, some of those are di dictated by the game situation and, you know, unfortunately penalties. Even, even though you've been in the game a long time and won a lot of games, do you get still a particular joy when a, it's a defensive effort that – it strikes up big for your team, or are they all win-win? Um, that's a good question. I, I mean, I like it when, you know, we go into a game shorthanded defensively and they play good. Yeah, I do like that. But um, I like to win. Um, the players know that I hate to lose. I've talked to them about it this week, how much I hate it, and, uh, you know, and how, how hard we work how hard we compete, how hard we study during the week and practice. And, um, you know, we got to start seeing the, the benefits of it. Like Along those lines, just you were missing five top defensive players. I know there's maybe been some concerns at times about defensive depth. But just how pleased are you way that some of these young guys, especially all, just stepped up to make up for that? Yeah, um, I'm trying to think some of those guys, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, we had a lot of rotation in the defensive line today. Um, especially after playing 98 plays last week, um, you know, I thought that I, I really think the corners did a nice job of challenging these these guys. This, these are two really good receivers, and the tight end's a good player too. <clears throat> and so, um, you know, I thought we did a nice job. The interception by Cousins was, I mean, uh, by Kendricks was was big time. Um, you know, I thought that was a heck of a deal, and the, the sack that he had early in the, early in the game was big too, because they got on that protection rest and they actually changed a bunch of protections during the game on third down, and um, you know we had a couple other pressures that we had to uh, kind of get to. So Mike, what was time, the time for two more. On, Excuse me. What was the explanation you got on the fake punt from the ref and why they blew it dead? He snapped it before the official said it was ready to, for play. Well, you're right. Go ahead. Would your uh, would, 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 would your three and five record um, a reason why you went for it on fourth down? Like we talked on Friday, right, about how much the Chargers went for it on fourth down. But you know, being in all these close games, where you just said, you know, it, like you said, it's time to win. We gotta, we got, we gotta go home with a, with a W. Um, well, I thought they would go for it on fourth down a lot more than they did today. Um, no, I just told the team we're gonna be aggressive. We're gonna be aggressive, and you know. If, if we get beat because you know, um, you know, we, we run a fake punt and we don't get it, then we just got to suck it up and stop them on defense. With Alvin, with Alvin Cook, with the allegations, were you all concerned about how it might affect his mindset? And what do you think of his performance today? Um, Dalvin is a extremely resilient, competitive person that uh, is a great team leader. I'm proud of him. I, I love the way he plays. I love the heart that he brings. And, um, you know, he's, he's one of my favorite players of all time. All right, thank you.